Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm Good and Geeky, and Leandro was asking how to do this in the Facebook group for Affinity Designer. Let's have a look and see, there's two ways of doing this. One, well they're, well, they're both pretty easy. Let's give it a go and see what we need to do. So the first way to go about doing this would be to use the cog tool. So let's go to the cog tool here and set this up. So let's draw our shape now with the cog tool. Hold down the shift key to keep it as a perfect circle. So I've got that there done. Now I'll make some adjustments to this here. We don't need to adjust the centre of the cog there, but we can make some adjustments to the outside part of it, the shapes and the number of cogs there are on this cog wheel. And that could be about right. I'm going to get this one here and I'm going to um, take this out just a wee bit. So I'm going to get that there, then get this one at the top here and move that. So I'll get the... Um, kind of straight looking lines there coming in so that's kind of about well I'm not quite right let's make it a bit wider let's, let's take it in a bit there get rid of some of these cogs we want eight in there so now we have eight teeth in our cog wheel so let's just rotate this to get it to match the design that we're trying to copy design there so we're going to get that there and bring it around um, about 22 and a half degrees I think is what we need let's have it so it's about right that's about right Okay, so it's not looking too bad, is it? I think maybe this could be a little bit uh, narrower, but uh, we can uh, make some adjustments to that as necessary. So let's bring it in a wee bit there, and get that one there, bring that in. I think that's just spot on now. So now what we want to do is I want to put a circle around the outside of this here, so that we're going to go to the circle tool. Command and shift to bring it out as a full circle. Get it up to about the right size. Okay, so that's about right. Now what I want to do is I'm going to grab both of those there, and I'm going to align them both up. So let's go to this here. So let's line them up horizontally and vertically. Maybe that outside circle could be a bit bigger. So let's um, grab that there. Let's put it at the. Uh, let's put it behind. I'm going to move the circle behind the cog in the layers panel. Put it in another colour so we can see a bit better. Okay then. So what I want to do now is I want to make that outside circle just a wee bit bigger. So I'm going to use the move tool. Going to select it there and bring that out. Hold down the command and shift key so it comes out from the centre. And I think that is going to be about the right dimensions. Now all we've got to do is select both of those there. We've got the move tool selected, so let's go to this here. Let's go to the subtract tool. Subtract. So we've just got to get rid of this circle in the middle of that there. So it's easier to do. What we need to do is go to the node tool. So let's go to the node editing tool. Grab those there and delete them. So there you have it. There's your design. Exactly like that there, well, more or less, and it was pretty easy. So that's one way of doing it. Now there is another way of doing it. So let's go for the donut tool. Give me a donut, donut. Okay, here we go. And command and shift, come out, bring that out there. Now make some adjustments to this here. Let's go and make the uh, that one there to about the right kind of uh, dimensions that we're looking for. So that's the donut. That's the outside part of the circle done. Then what we want is some um, rectangles, so let's get a rectangle, and the rectangle should be about so big. Then what I want to do is I want to make it so that the centre of uh, rotation for this is in the centre of this circle. So let's get the centre of this lined up a bit better, that's um, where the centre of that is. Let's get some guidelines in there to help us find the centre of this. Let's put that there, and we'll bring this one down and put it in the middle of there. Now I know we're correct. Now it's perfectly centred. Now I'm going to do my rectangle. So let's go back to the rectangle tool here. Start here and bring it down to here. Okay, perfect. Centre rotation out first. So get a centre rotation, put it in the centre. I'm um, do Command and J. And then I'm going to do my duplicate. So let's do, let's do a duplicate of this and bring it around with the shift key held down to 45 degrees and then do some repeats. So do Command J again another seven times and now I've got it just as I wanted and you see we've got it there all I've got to do to finish this off is grab all of this here and use the boolean plus tool to put it all together so it's one object there you see one object spot on so there you go two ways to make that shape in affinity designer using the tools that's available and go and have some fun with it if you like this video put a like on it now and also perhaps you could put a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel Bye now.